Number 65. Freon 12, which is CCl2F2, is prepared from CCl4 by a reaction with HF. And the other product of this reaction is HCl. Outline the steps needed to determine the percent yield of a reaction that produces 12.5 grams of CCl2F2 from 32.9 grams of CCl4. And fun fact, Freon 12 has been banned and is no longer used as a refrigerant because it catalyzes the decomposition of ozone and has a very long lifetime in the universe. Actually, just kidding, in the atmosphere. Determine the percent yield. Okay, so we need to outline these steps, but most importantly, we actually need to determine the percent yield. Okay, so whenever we're doing stoichiometry, right, or percent yields, we always need a balanced equation. So if we're going to outline the steps, step one is to get the balanced equation. Now we've done tons of problems getting a balanced equation. So you could try to pause the video now and see if you could make it up yourself, you know, but this is going to kind of be a little quick. So it says that this compound is prepared or, you know, made from CCl4 with HF. So I know that those are my two reactants. I have CCl4, maybe I'll do it in black. We have CCl4 plus HF, and that's going to produce our freon, which is CCl2F2. And then they gave us a hint, the other product is HCl, so plus HCl. Writing the equation is not good enough. We just have to make sure that it's balanced. And in this case, yeah, we have to balance it. Uh, let's see. I have two fluorines here, so maybe I'll put a two here to get the two Fs. In this case, I have two hydrogens, so I'll put a two here. And then now I think it's balanced because I have a total of two plus two chlorines, and there's four chlorines here, so we're good. Okay. So that's the first thing done. Second thing, what I would do, me personally, is, you know, list what you got. Just to kind of keep everything organized. So they told us that we used 32.9 grams of CCl4. So that's my starting material. And it told us that we actually produced, right? There was an actual reaction and it produced 12.5 grams. Now, when they give you actual production amounts, right? That is not in theory. Anything that you write down is part of theory. This is an actual yield. And we'll get to that when we have to use the percent yield. But actually, maybe we'll, we'll actually do this. So first thing I'm going to say is let's just look at the percent yield formula, which is this guy. And if we could just write a little bit of notes here, percent yield is always just equal to actual yield, what you actually got in your experiment, divided by what should be on paper. The actual yield that was actually produced was 12.5 grams. And that's of CCL2F2, the Freon 12. So if we want to find out our percent yield, the only thing that we need is we need to know theoretically or on paper how many grams of the CCL2 F2 we need. So I need to find that. This is like a question mark, right? I need to find that many grams of CCL2 F2. So I'm basically searching for this guy in grams. That's what step three is going to be all about. We've done tons of problems like this, right? We're going to use stoichiometry. Stoichiometry to solve for grams of CCL2F2. And here is our little mnemonic here, right? It's always grams to moles to moles to grams. Grams to moles to moles to grams. So I'm going to just put this up here. I'm just going to cater it to what we need. Maybe I'll just make this go a little bit over here. So we have CCL4. We can go to moles of CCL4. And then from there, we can get the moles of the 
one that we want, right? So that's CCL2, F2. And then from there, we could finally get the grams. And just know that this is my theoretical yield. So we're just putting like a fancy name to what we've been doing many, 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 many times. And we're going to start off with the 32.9 grams, right? So let's, let's get to it. 32.9 grams of CCL4. We make a ratio. Throw grams of CCL4 on the bottom. The moles of CCL4 is going to go on the top. And remember, if you're using the, the periodic table, which is what we're going to be doing here, it's always one mole of the compound and then whatever it is on the periodic table. So in this case, you have one carbon, so 12.01, plus four times the chlorine. And each chlorine is 35.45. So I get 153.81 grams. That conversion is done. Let's keep going. You don't want moles of CCL4 anymore. You want the moles of the freon. So now we're changing colors because we're changing compounds. CCL2F2. This is the balanced equation. Moles, multiple ratio of two different elements, we use the coefficients of the balanced equation. For the CCL4, there was no number here, so that means that there's one of them. So I'm going to put a one down here. And then also for the freon, there was no number. So I'm going to put a one here. Right? No numbers mean that you only have one of them. And then finally, we're going to get that theoretical yield. we got to get it in grams. So mole of CCL2F2 on the bottom, and this is kind of a little CCL2F2, gram of CCL2F2 on the top. And this is periodic table, so this was balanced equation. This was periodic table again, because it's a gram to mole conversion of the same compound. You always have one mole, and then go on the periodic table, get the mass. So I got 12.01 plus two times the chlorine, so 35.45, plus two times the fluorine, which is 19. So I get 120.91 grams. Okay, let's figure out what that is. So we're finding out the theoretical yield, what we should have gotten in a perfect world. So 32.9 divided by 153.81 times 120.91. And I get roughly 25 point, we won't use sig figs right now because this isn't the final answer. But we should have gotten 25.86 grams in an ideal perfect world. Because there's error and we can't, you know, can't do anything about that, this person only produced 12 grams, 12.5 grams. So we're talking about probably a little bit, a little bit more than half, I think less than half, but we'll see. The percent yield is the actual yield, 12.5, and then we should have gotten... 25.86 times 100, right? You could put the grams, but they're the, they're the same unit, so I don't really like to do that. And then, here we go, percent yield. Actually, I'll put it over here, I guess. Percent yield equals 12.5 divided by 25.86 times 100. I get 48 point and let's see, three sig figs all across the board. So yeah, 48.3%. So basically, out of 100%, right, that would have been matching the theoretical yield. Because of error, they only got 48.3% of their product, which isn't too bad. I remember in my orgo class, you know, I would be getting like 10% yields. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I got an A. I got an A, and that's all that matters. And before I go, I just want to say that number four, to finish this, you know, outlining the steps, would be um, 
solve for percent yield and then you're done okay now now i am completely done anyway uh, i will see you guys all in the next lesson hopefully this helped let me know in the comments all right love talking to you guys give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you in later lessons okay bye bye